Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I have prepared a special problem solving lesson that uh, mainly focuses on 2022 national examination. Uh, this video is very helpful for those students who are going to take the entrance examination in 2023, even for those students who are taking the remedial course. Uh, and all high school students can get benefit from this video lesson because the contents of the uh, exam covers from grade 9 to 12. Uh, so uh, this is part one that contains uh, problems from grade 9. So stay with me. So the first uh, problem is uh, the question that you can see on the screen. Question number two. Uh, the, remedi the radian measure of an angle of 120 degrees is equal to how much? So uh, this is about the problems uh, related with angle and re uh, degree measure and radian measure. So to know the radian measure of 120 degree, we need to know the relation between the degree measure and radian measure. One complete rotation is 360 degree, uh, so which is equivalent to two pi radian. Okay. So uh, the question is 120 degree is how much? So it's very simple, use a crisscross and get this result. Multiply 120 by 2 pi radian. Uh, this must be the same as 360 degree times x. So 360 degree times x is equal to 2 pi radian times uh, 120 degree. Therefore, dividing both sides by 360 degree, uh, we get this result. Uh, so x value will become x is equal to 2 pi times uh, 120 degree over 360 degree. But here we need to simplify. Uh, by 120 it's 1, by 120 this is 3, 2 pi times 1 is 2 pi over 3. Therefore, therefore the radian measure of uh, 120 degree is the same as 2 pi over 3 radian. So our answer will be uh, choice A. Which of the following is the measure of an exterior angle of uh, a 10 sided regular uh, polygon? Here, to answer this one, we need to know only one thing. What is the degree measure of n sided regular polygon? 360 degree over n is the degree measure of n side of regular polygon, therefore n is 10. So this is 360 degree over 10, the result is 76 degree. Therefore, a 10 side of regular polygon has an exterior angle 36. Uh, the other thing is uh, what are the quotient and remainder respectively when 75 is divided by 20? When we divide 75 for 20, uh, what will be the quotient and remainder? It's very simple. Divide 75 for uh, 20. Uh, this is 3 times. 3 times 60. I mean 20 is 60. The result becomes here. Take the difference. Uh, so we will have the remainder 50 and the quotient 3. Therefore, we are asking the quotient and remainder respectively. The quotient is 3. The remainder is 15, therefore the answer is C. Uh, question number 14 is about the, uh, the vector. Which one of the following quantities represent a vector? We classify quantities as a vector and scalar. A vector quantities are a quantities having magnitude and direction. So from these alternatives, we will select uh, quantities having both magnitude and direction. So weight of uh, uh, an object is mass times gravity. So this is uh, a vector quantity due to the gravity. Therefore, definitely this is a vector quantity. The speed of a motorbike is scalar. Volume of a box is scalar. Uh, the, the width of a, uh, your bedroom is scalar. All these three don't have uh, a direction, therefore they are scalar. So our answer will be A. 
Uh, the next problem is about the uh, area of uh, a triangle. Triangle ABC. For this triangle ABC, the side AB is given, uh, BC is given, and AC is given. We know the sides of all these. Uh, uh, all the sides are known for this triangle. So uh, there is a formula to calculate the area of uh, a triangle having all known sides. So if this is our triangle, say the, the sides are C, uh, A, B. So the formula for the area of such triangle is uh, area of this triangle is equal to uh, in the radical S into S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. This is the formula for such area. But this S is the sum of uh, these sides over 2. So we do have all the sides. We know all the sides. So uh, it's a matter of substitution. Therefore, square root of uh, S in this case, S in this case, uh, the sum of all the sides, okay, 10 plus 10 plus 14 plus 8 over 2. So the sum of the sides is 32, uh, dividing by 2, the result is 16. Therefore, in place of S, substitute 16, then uh, 16 minus one of the side, uh, 16 minus the other side, uh, 16 minus the third side. So the product of this is the area of the triangle. So this is uh, 16 times, this is 6, times this is 2 times this is 8. Look, we do have 16, this is 16. 2 times uh, 8 is 16. So 16 times 16 is uh, 16 square. So we can take it out from the radical. So inside, uh, what will be remaining? Inside the radical, 6 will be remaining. Therefore, the area of this triangle, the area of this triangle is uh, 16 root 6 square unit square unit okay so this is the area therefore from the choice our answer will be uh, B uh, the next problem is about the domain and range of a certain relation so suppose we have uh, this uh, relation uh, this relation is uh, this graph is the graph of a certain relation. Here we are asking the domain and range of uh, uh, this uh, graph. Okay, so uh, to know the domain, it's uh, enough to know this point of intersection. Okay, this point of intersection from the graph is two. So starting from two up to negative infinity is our domain. Every vertical line touches. Uh, the uh, this region okay this shaded region is the graph of the given relation therefore uh, the domain is or real number less than or equal to 2 and the range is uh, look the this region look at this region if every vertical line crosses the region if every, I mean, if every horizontal line crosses the region, then the range will be real number. Therefore, the range of this uh, relation is real number. So to determine the domain, just uh, construct a set of vertical line. If every, I mean, uh, every vertical line starts crossing this region uh, from this point, therefore the domain is x less than or equals to two. Uh, but to check uh, the range, Let's construct a set of horizontal lines. So every horizontal line crosses this region. Therefore, the range is real number. So our answer will be uh, B for this case. The simplified form of the expression 6 root 20 minus 3 root 45 over 3 root 75 is equals to how much? So uh, we are asked here the simplified form of uh, these uh, radicals. So uh, 6 root 20 minus 3 root 45 over, over 3 
root 75. This is the given uh, radical expression. So to simplify this, write 20 in another form. So 20 can be written as 4 times 5. 1 should be perfect number. Minus 3 times radical uh, 45. So 45 can be written as 9 times uh, 5. Look here, 9 should be perfect so that it can be taken out from the radical. So over the denominator is 3 in the radical, 75 is 25 times 3. So take out the numbers, the perfect numbers from the radical, you will get 6 times 2 in the radical. Here in the radical, 5 will remain. Uh, here take out 9 from the radical, uh, the result is 3. Then in the radical, 5 will remain over. Uh, go to the denominator, 25 can be taken out from the radical, then we get radical 3 inside. So uh, multiply these numbers, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 root 5 minus, this is 9 root 5 over uh, 15 root 3. Now take the difference between these two numbers. 12 root 5 minus 9 root 5 is 3 root 5 over uh, 15 root 3. Now by 3, 1. By 3, it's 5. Therefore, this is radical 5 over 5 times root 3. Still, we can rationalize this number by radical 3 over radical 3. Therefore, the result is radical 5 times 3 is 15 over uh, here 5 times radical 3 times radical 3 is 3. Therefore, this is radical 15 over 15. Therefore, this is the simplified form of the given radical. Next, we do have uh, problems related with uh, set theory. Uh, here we have two sets A and B. Two sets A and B are given. These two sets are given. And the question is the symmetric difference of these two sets A and B. Uh, first of all, the symmetric difference of two sets is defined as the collection of uh, uh, all elements in A, U, and B except in their intersection. So we collect the union, then we avoid the common elements from the union. So the union of set A and B, take the, these two sets, then the union of these two sets is definitely, it is one, two, three, uh, five, six, eight, ten, eleven. This is the union of these two sets. No more calculation. But their intersection is the intersection of these two sets. We do have common element eight. Here eight. Another common element is five. Uh, five. Therefore, they, we don't have any more intersection. So uh, the intersection of the two set is five comma eight. So look, avoid this uh, common element from the union. Uh, what are the common elements? Five can be avoided and 8 can be avoided, therefore uh, the remaining elements will be 1, 2, 3, 6, 10, 11. So when we avoid the common element from the union, we will get these elements. So such uh, set is called the symmetric difference of two sets. So our answer will be uh, the answer, the answer will be C. The last problem from grade 9 is uh, about quadratic equation. R1 and R2 are the roots of the, the equation. Okay, This quadratic equation is given. So uh, regarding this quadratic equation, which of, which of the following is true? So here, to know uh, the correct answer, we need to know the relation between the root and the coefficients. Okay, so uh, since uh, the values of a, the value of a is three, b is nine, and c is uh, c is sixteen. Okay, this is a, this is b, this is c. So uh, we note that the sum of the quadratic 
the sum of the roots of a quadratic equation is uh, minus b over a okay so minus b over a is minus 9 over 3 so this is minus 3 therefore r1 plus r2 is not positive 3 it's uh, negative 3 and the product of the two root is uh, the same as c over a but c is 60 and a is 3 therefore the product of the the two root is 16 over 3 but here it is negative therefore this can't be true uh, the c case uh, r1 square plus r2 square is exactly the same as r1 plus r2 the whole square minus twice r1 times r2 you can verify this one square r1 plus r2 uh, then subtract this result the uh, the outcome is r1 square plus r2 square therefore we know that r1 plus r2 is minus 3 therefore substitute minus 3 here because r1 plus r2 is uh, minus 3 so uh, minus 2 times r1 times r2 is obtained from here r1 plus i mean r1 times r2 is this one so substitute here 16 over 3 so this result is 9 minus 3 square is 9 minus this is 32 over 3 okay multiply crisscross it 9 times 3 is 27 minus 32 over uh, over uh, 3 therefore this is minus 5 over minus 5 over 3 therefore therefore r1 plus r2 is minus 5 over 3 so this is a true statement uh, to check whether d is false or not you can uh, you can do like this 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 is the same as r1 plus r2 over r1 times r2 use crisscross multiply this with this r1 with 1 and r1 over r1 times r2 in the denominator but r1 plus r2 is already known it's minus 3 uh, r1 times r2 is 16 over 3 so this is minus 9 over 16 still this is also false so our answer will be c so uh, these are uh, the problems from grade 9 uh, i hope you got something good so in part two, uh, you will get the problems from grade 10. Thank you for listening. Uh, but if you are new for this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much.